What's up guys, Rajat here from VFX World. Welcome back to my channel once again. And in this video, I'm gonna teach you how you can add or import any character in your Unreal Engine scene. So it will be a very easy and fun loving tutorial, also a short one. So let's get started. All right, as you can see, the set is already pre-made and now I'll tell you how you can download that set actually. So if I minimize this and I'll open the Epic Games Marketplace, you can see this Polar Science Frictional facility uh, already pre-content available on Epic Games Marketplace. And this is literally amazing asset. You can simply go and uh, use it. And I'm using 5.1 because this is the latest one which you have released recently. Also for the character, I'm using this stylized character kit which you can literally animate with your own. So you can customize the, all the characters. It's all up to you. You can see the multiple style of characters actually. All right, so let's jump into Unreal Engine. So now I already have pre-made this scene here as you can see and this is a very large scale of environment. It will take a lot of textures actually. Okay, the so next thing is I'm just pressing the contain browser. I'm just pressing the dock in layout so it will not hide. Now this is a polar surface which I have already downloaded this set actually. So for this I'm using this map. So I'm just clicking this uh, polar facility example map in sunset and I'm just pressing don't save. All right guys, as you can see, this is the scene. Actually, you can go out and this is a sunset scene actually. But if you notice inside of this scene, you can't see any light properly. This is a very dark kind of scene. So for that, we need a light. So I'm just go here and here is the light setup and here you can find directional light, point light. For I using, I'm using point light. So if you click the point light and you can entirely lighten up the scene here. So I'm just making it a little bit of lighten up. All right, now we are importing the character. So I already have imported earlier. So that this is a character skeleton actually. So here you can find these models and this is a lot of models. You can literally customize this. But for this, I'm using the pre-made characters here. So you can find these other pre-made characters. So I'm just select, drag and drop any one character from here. So it will load the texture, it will be take a time and now it's done. So the character is rotated on this direction. So first of all, I need to rotate this character. So I'm just pressing E on my keyboard. I'm just rotating the character something like this so now you can see the character is completely like in t-pose normal now the thing is you have to animate the character so for that you need a level sequence so i'm just click here and i'm pressing the add a level sequence i'm just making it like tutorial and just press enter so this is our main level sequence so now we have to take a camera cut so just first of all i'm just taking a new camera so this is my suppose a main camera angle so i'm just go here right click and then we are called cinematic and then cinema camera actor just click here the camera will come up here but the camera focuses in different direction so what do you have to do just right click on the camera you can feel the snap object to the view so whenever you click this you can see the camera is snap on the specific view which you're currently watching so right after that, you just go to perspective and click this new cine camera actor. So now you can see character from the camera. All right, now you have to drag and drop the camera to here. Just simply drag and drop into here. And also you can see one camera cut is pre-made came up here like this. Now what you have to do, you need to change the focus and also you need to do an animation. For the animation, select the mesh model. Also you can just uh, select the drop down and select drag and drop the character into here. That's it. And right after that, you can see the option called animation. Whenever you click the animation button, you can find a lot of animation already pre-made and pre-installed on these characters. So here you can find this third person run, third person uh, walk, uh, jump, loop. There are actually a lot of uh, different different type of animations. So for this, I'm using third person walk. So just click here. Now the characters already change their position here, just like this. So whenever you can see, this is the timeline actually, the length of the walking distance. So if you play this, you can see the character is walking on this exactly same space so i'm just increasing the animation length something like here so inside of the cinematic viewport now if you play this you can see the character is walking but the thing is the character is in exactly same space it will not move now to the move the character just go to the first frame and you can see the animation and then called the transform just select this and add a keyframe here so suppose this will be a like a first position so this is like first position i'm just making another keyframe just like this and now you just go to the last frame and i'm just changing the character position like this now this is completely random you have to work with this you have to play with this and then press this keyframe animation button and now whenever you play you can see the character is walking but the thing is the character has started the walking is very slow mo so for that reason you just need to select this and press it to linear and also select this and make it to linear 
So now what happened? It will start like normal. Now whenever you play this, you can see the character is walking on this floor, and this is literally amazing. Also, I want to show you something really amazing thing here. If you zoom it and watch the close fit of this character, you can see the character's leg is exactly interacting with the floor water. See this? This is literally amazing. And for this reason, I really love Unreal Engine a lot. Now talking about the camera. So if I just click to the camera view, so this is my basic camera view here. So I want to focus this character, and the focus is always stick. on this character so first of all what i have to do i just need to go to this my camera select the camera here and now go down this is called the like manual focus okay for him i'm just making it like tracking so for that reason it will track the character now from here you need to pick the character so this is a call actor panel and here i just have to type like mesh and this character name is mesh pc so underscore PC and you can find this skeleton mesh. Just select this. Now all the focus is set to this character. This is really amazing. Now go to this film back preset and make it to 16 is to 9 DSLR. And from the universal zoom, I'm making it like 30 millimeter, so it will become a wide angle lens, something like this. So now I'm making the animation. Now go to the first frame, so it will be like this only. And now go down. I'm just decreasing the aperture to like 1.4, so it will become a more blurry. And now what I have to do, just uh, decrease this and select the animation panel. And what I have to do, just select the transform panel. Go to the last frame. And now what I have to do, just zoom out a bit. And this is set. And then I'm just making one of the keyframe, just like this. Now whenever you play, you can see the camera is following the character, and it's literally amazing, isn't it? All right. After that, if you need to add any camera shake, I have already created a dedicated video on the camera shake. You can definitely check. the out also this is it and now if you want to render it out simple click this render button here and i'm just showing you the configuration is here so these are the like basic configuration you have to add a png sequence and aliasing which is 64 and output should be like in 60 fps and after that press accept and then press render local and it will start your rendering which is a very good output as you can see already all right guys that's it for today hopefully you really enjoyed this unreal engine tutorial after a long time and also you are very close to hit 1 lakh subscribers so please make it very fast and my name is rajat i will see you very soon in my next video till then have fun stay healthy keep watching keep rocking vfx1